When we reached our destination, however, there was a problem. There was no way of driving off the beach where we landed until low tide. So, to kill the time, James went back to code breaking. Hammond and I, meanwhile, realized that in conditions as harsh as these, survival would be tough. We'd need food, so he began with a Bear Grylls hostile environment classic, the improvised beach oven. When you've finished digging your pit, line it with some of the rocks, about half. Then I'm going to light a fire on top of these rocks. I could light a fire in any one of a number of ways here. A piece of broken glass from the sea, focused light from the sun onto a leaf. I'm going to ask the crew for a lighter. There, it's working. And as Bear Grylls says, three words in survival. First class travel and five star accommodation or I won't do it. The second basic principle of survival is hydration. So I set about finding fluids. A lot of survivalists will tell you that when you're thirsty, you should drink your own piss. But I say no to that. I say go into the jungle and find fruit and drink that instead. It tastes nicer. It does you more good. Look, coconut. This is a rotten one that's fallen down. I'm going to try and get a fresh one by uh, throwing this at it. Right, my rocks are hot, which means we're ready to get cooking. So, take your fish that you caught earlier. That bit's not difficult. That's the sea. You wrap the fish in leaves, tie it off, and now transfer the fish to your beach oven. Ah, hot, hot. Bury the fish to contain all that heat in our oven that we built earlier. Two hours from now, that is going to be cooked fish. Having finally hit a coconut... Yes! Ho, 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 yes! I went in search of bananas. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Shit! OK. And eventually, our survival rations came together. Ah. Banana daiquiri. Really? Yep, banana, coconut, elk, <coughs> and rum. Fantastic. Where'd you get the rum from? Back of the Bentley. Oh, clever. Mm. You can survive surprisingly well with a Bentley. And this is very good, by the way. Mm. OK. I've said it before, just because it's a survival situation doesn't mean we have to eat like animals. Standards. That's not bad. That's very good. Well done. It's good. That is survival. 